Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today I have a very special video for you that I've wanted to make for quite a while now, and that is my top 5 favourite dinosaur documentaries. Now before we start, I just want to make a few things clear. Firstly, these are my choices. If you disagree, that's absolutely fine. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. This list will also not exclusively be for dinosaur documentaries. Other forms of paleontology will also be included, so stuff both before and after the dinosaurs, for example, is also allowed. This isn't strictly just documentaries either. Educational films are also allowed. But not movies or TV shows with extinct animals made just for entertainment, so the Jurassic Park and World movies or the show Primeval are not going to be on this list. With that said, let's get into my list of the top 5 best dinosaur documentaries. At number 5 we have Sea Monsters A Prehistoric Adventure. This 3D film was released in IMAX in 2007 and follows a female Dolly Karinkops as she lives her life in the western interior seaway of North America during the late Cretaceous period 82 million years ago. This film looks gorgeous and the CGI creatures are fantastically modelled and animated beautifully. Their movements are incredibly fluent and natural. The 3D is also very effective in this film and doesn't feel like it's ever too in your face like other 3D films. The soundtrack is also very nice. The use of vocals adds an interesting tribal charm to it which works surprisingly well. Now in between the animated scenes there are segments with actors portraying paleontologists, uncovering and teaching us about the animals and unfortunately the acting in these scenes isn't the greatest. While these scenes can be distracting, they don't detract too much from what is an overall great story of an animal living its life, feeding, escaping the many predators of the deep, reproducing and eventually dying peacefully and fossilizing over millennia. This film is a wonderful experience and definitely deserves the number 5 spot on this list. At number 4 we have Dinosaur Planet not to be confused with Planet Dinosaur. This four-part documentary miniseries was produced by Discovery Channel in 2003, with each episode focusing on a specific dinosaur protagonist. White Tip's journey follows a female velociraptor struggling to survive on her own as she tries to find a new pack after her old one was killed. Pod's travels follows a male pyroraptor who ends up unintentionally getting washed out to sea and getting marooned on Hatseg Island, an island of dwarf dinosaurs he towers over and eventually ends up essentially ruling over. Little Das's hunt follows a young male Daspletosaurus as well as a young male Myosaurus as they both learn the harsh reality of survival before being obliterated by an enormous volcanic eruption. Alpha's egg follows a female Saltosaurus as well as a male Alcasaurus showing how their lives are entwined from hatching to adulthood. The greatest strength of this series is its excellent storytelling. These stories are quite complex for what they are and easily the best I've seen in a dinosaur documentary. The dinosaur models are fantastic too, as well as strikingly coloured. Unfortunately though, they can look quite unrealistic in front of the modern day backdrops and their movements can look a little weird at times. Each episode is about 45 minutes long, which I think is slightly too long and I do think some scenes could have been condensed, but they're so well done that I often don't mind. The scenes with paleontologist Dr. Scott Sampson that are spliced between the story are very informative and are just the right length. Now some people may take issue with the dinosaurs being a little too human at times, and the sometimes humorous narration by Christian Slater probably doesn't help, but honestly, while they would have preferred a more serious tone, I don't mind. In fact, I think it actually gives it a unique identity and makes it stand out more. Overall, Dinosaur Planet is a brilliant time and definitely worth checking out and takes the number 4 spot on my list. At number 3 we have When Dinosaurs Roamed America. Often considered the American equivalent of Walking with Dinosaurs, it's a 90 minute movie structured like a documentary produced by Discovery Channel in 2001. It showcases the lives of dinosaurs in five different segments, each taking place at different geological times, from their first appearance to their extinction. 
The tone of this film is fantastic and John Goodman's calming voice works amazingly well for the narration. Once again, there are paleontology segments between the animated ones and these two are fantastically informative and don't ruin the pace of the film. The dinosaurs behave very realistically and the models look brilliant. However, their movements can sometimes look unrealistic and over the top at times. My only problem with this film is that the carnivores can feel slightly too awesome bro at times and if you don't know what that means look it up and can come across as overly violent during killing scenes. However that is my only complaint in what is otherwise a fantastic work of art that wonderfully portrays dinosaur anatomy and behaviour and easily deserves the number 3 spot on this list. At number 2 we have Dinosaurs Giants of Patagonia. This 3D film was released in IMAX in 2007 and mainly focuses on the enormous dinosaurs of southern Argentina. The sauropod Argentinosaurus and the theropod Mapusaurus with other animals sprinkled in that aren't the main focus but still add to the scope of the film. This film is perfect for IMAX as it is by name as it is by nature. It consists of breathtaking shots of Patagonia Argentina, fantastic CGI dinosaurs and it's giant. This film feels huge. It does an amazing job making everything on screen feel giant. Its cinematography consists of many beautiful aerial shots to show how giant the landscape is but also a lot of lower shots where looking up at the giant dinosaurs makes them look even bigger than they already are. The narration by Donald Sutherland is so soothing and nice on the ears and it really works wonders. The only complaint I have is that I don't care much for the weird transparent cutaways at times but that really is only a nitpick. While the main focus is on the actual giants of Patagonia, other animals like the smaller Unanlagia offer both a scale to convey how much larger the giants are. The very opening shot of the film even puts the entire solar system into perspective, explaining how tiny we are and even how tiny our galaxy is. All of this combined makes for a thrilling giant experience when watching this movie and it is truly thrilling. It was so close between this and when dinosaurs roamed America but I ended up putting Giants of Patagonia on top. If you haven't seen it, do yourself a favour and watch it either online, on Blu-ray, or if they ever re-release it in IMAX one day. Dinosaurs Giants of Patagonia takes the number 2 spot on my list. Now before we get to number 1, I'd like to go over some of my honourable mentions that just didn't quite make the list. The first honourable mention is Flying Monsters 3D, a documentary produced by the BBC in 2010. Whilst I'm so happy pterosaurs finally have a pretty good documentary to call their own, there were quite a few questionable choices made in this one that kept it from making the list, namely the beautiful models that are animated so weirdly. Another is the CGI environments that I don't like, as they just ruin the illusion of feeling like these animals are really there. Overall it feels like it can't decide if it wants to be a documentary or an educational film and I wish it would just choose one or the other. Overall though, this one's pretty good. Next is March of the Dinosaurs, a film made by the BBC in 2011, showing how dinosaurs survived in the Arctic. While this film is very well put together, it lacks substance. There is little to no educational value in this one, but I wanted to mention it, as it feels like it's trying to be educational. If this film was more educational, it may very well have made it onto the list. Next is C-Rex Journey to a Prehistoric World, a 3D IMAX film released in 2010. It showcases the various marine reptiles that inhabited the world's oceans over the three time periods of the Mesozoic Era. Whilst this was quite educational, the CGI doesn't look that great, especially when compared to sea monsters, which I also thought told a much more compelling story too. Still, I enjoyed this one enough to mention it. Next is The Truth About Killer Dinosaurs, a two-part documentary series produced by the BBC in 2005. This series looks into the nature of dinosaurs fighting, but unlike many lesser documentaries, it doesn't present it in an overly violent manner 
and is entirely based in fact, experiment and fossil evidence. This one is very underrated in my opinion and I don't think it gets the attention it deserves. What holds it back though is that there are only two episodes and yet both repeat a lot of the same animated scenes quite frequently which can get quite repetitive. Overall though, definitely worth your time. I also want to briefly mention Paleo World as well as PBS's The Dinosaurs as they are both wonderfully informative and structured perfectly. The last honourable mention is The Future is Wild, a documentary released in 2002 showcasing a natural zoology of a hypothetical future of planet Earth. I decided not to include this one as it is technically not a paleo documentary but rather a speculative evolution documentary showing CGI speculative creatures that could evolve in the future. It is wonderfully creative and even the most unlikely of creatures seem plausible once the scientists back up their statements with facts about modern and extinct animals. This is wonderful and I recommend to anyone interested in speculative evolution. And with that said, it's time to announce my choice for number one. And at number one, of course it's the entire Walking With series. Well, except for that one. Made by Impossible Pictures. Walking With Dinosaurs revolutionised documentaries, television and the public outlook on dinosaurs all at the same time. And it practically invented the dino documentary genre. No documentary before or after has ever made dinosaurs feel so real. They look, move and behave so naturally even 20 years later. Its greatest strength is that it truly feels like a traditional nature documentary. The Ballad of Big Al, or just Allosaurus, does a wonderful job with storytelling and expanding on the formula Walking With Dinosaurs had set up. Walking With Beasts uses the same formula as Walking With Dinosaurs and is almost flawless. It's the only documentary I can think of that does prehistoric mammals justice. Chased by Dinosaurs is an incredibly fun take on the formula and Nigel Marvin is the perfect host. Walking with Cavemen is definitely the black sheep of the bunch, but it is still very well made, and Robert Winston is just a huge plus in my book. Sea Monsters is incredible. Amazingly and sometimes terrifyingly animated creatures that still remain factual and educational all at the same time. Walking with Monsters mixes up the traditional six episode formula in favour of three episodes consisting of multiple segments showing the evolution of certain animals to act as transitions between each segment, fantastically animated. And lastly, let's throw Prehistoric Park in there because it's essentially a spin-off of the Walking With series and it captures the same whimsy and majesty whilst the characters make such a silly concept seem so believable and enjoyable. While this may seem unfair to put all of these together, Early on I decided to group the entire Walking With series into one. If I had graded them all separately, they would have taken up the entire list. They're that good. I also wanted to give some attention to some lesser known ones too. Do you guys agree with my list? Do you think I missed one? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please do like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.